Now new at six, Miami's Camillus House not missing a beat despite the coronavirus pandemic. They are all set for their annual Thanksgiving feast for the homeless. As CBS 4's Hank Tester reports, this is the 60th year of this tradition. In years past, it had all the trimmings of a block party. The Camillus House annual Thanksgiving Day feed for the shelter's clients and area homeless. Volunteer servers made it a part of their Thanksgiving Day ritual, serve the less fortunate, then head home for family events. Both are going to be much different this year. COVID has impacted the event. This is an annual tradition for us. We've done it for 60 years this year, and we really wanted to make sure that we continue with that tradition. We've had to reduce the number of chairs at a table uh, because of COVID, precisely because of COVID. Um, and you know, this is a time when they're, they don't have a mask on, they're eating without a mask on, so we have to be incredibly precautious. In the past, volunteers served nearly 500 meals. That all went down inside the compound's dining room. But this year, no room for the street homeless who are not part of the Camillus House community. We didn't want to not do something for the street homeless, and we have an empty lot in the corner. It belongs to us. We're going to have to rent tents and tables. Um, we are going to have to provide those meals rather than having them served by in our serving lane, our serving line onto plates. Those are going to be in clamshells, so we can hand them the meal to avoid any issues in terms of the serve, you know, the serving of food. This year, in order to serve, volunteers have to be tested and be cleared before the Thanksgiving feed. Testing is an ongoing regimen for a resident and staffers at the Camillus House stepped up for this year's Thanksgiving. We realize that our population is already, um, you know, compromised, and that's why we, we feel we have to take extra measures to make sure that we keep them safe. Many businesses, local restaurants, contribute to the annual event, and hotels, with their large kitchens, they cook up a batch of turkeys to send them over for the longtime traditional feed. I'm Hank Chester. CBS 4 News.